stories. Yeah, it was, it was a really good game today, very hot. Uh, but uh, we wanted to play this game. We are at home, third game in a row at home. And we wanted to come very strong. We knew that uh, Gotham has you know, a strong start. They always like to press. So I think it kept them thinking because we also play a different style of pressing. So it was always them trying to think, are they going to press us or are they going to stay? And I think we played how we wanted to play. And at the end, we got the point. Talk us through the goal. Um, I'm a striker. I'm hungry. I, I just came back from an injury. and. Uh, prior to that goal, I had chances, but I think my willingness to keep on going, you know, and not giving up is is the one thing that pushed me to the goal. Uh, and I always want to expose the defenders, and as, I, I knew as soon as Katie went out, it's always difficult for a defender to track back, and I just used the chance because there was so much space to go behind. Tembi, we're, we're just starting the second half of the season. How important was this win, this game for you guys? It's very important because we want to make the championship, you know, and we need to start winning. I think we've been doing so well for the Challenge Cup, and I think coming into this match, we, we said, I mean, at home with our supporters, we need to give our all. I mean, every game we need, we need to give our all, but I think it was important getting the first goal in the first half and then going on to get one in the second half and maintaining how we play. This is a big game in front of a national audience, you know, on, on national TV. How, how big is it that Racing was able to take a top six team down and keep a clean sheet on national television? I think many times when we go to games, we go as a very underdog team. You know, a lot of teams are studying us, we are studying them, but I think we have so much depth into the team. You've seen the last four or five matches, we've changed our starting lineup, we've got points, we've got goals. Even today, we changed the starting lineup compared to the play. I mean, the, the players we played against Houston. So it shows that you know everyone is hungry in the team, whether you play or you are on the bench. At, at the end of the day, it's a matter of coming in to help the team get as many points as possible. Do you think other teams are still underestimating you? I don't know, but at this point, I think we are focusing on making the championship, and I think we're taking one match at a time. And so far, we've been doing so good. We've, We've got, you know, so much progress with the uh, Challenge Cup. Now it's about time we start, you know, getting more into the rhythm of getting points. I mean, we got so many draws at the start of the season, but it was because we're still trying to understand each other. And we can see when we play, we get goals. Every, everyone, we don't depend on one person to score. It's always different people. And like I said, with the, the different players that we have, it gives us so much confidence knowing that whoever is in the pitch is going to give 100%. Whether you play five minutes or you play 90 minutes, at the end of the day, we are here to represent the team. Is there any concern, Tempe, that the World Cup pause might stop your momentum or slow down your momentum of this team? I don't think so. And I mean, the coaches are, are doing so good. Like, we've been rotating the players. There's been players that are going to the World Cup, potentially, that are playing, and on other days they're not playing. And the team is doing so good with or without the players that are going to the World Cup. So I think, like I'm saying, the depth that we have in the team, I think, will help us in the long run, especially when we lose those players to go to the national team. Any other questions? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.